NFL commissioner just woke to the worst news of his life when he saw who sued him overnight. Sometimes even the greatest friendships fail and duos like Sonny and Cher find themselves at an impasse where they just can't get along. That seems to be the case with National Football League commissioner Roger Goodell and what was formerly known as America's team owner, Jerry Jones. Jones is the longtime owner of the Dallas Cowboys and has worked quite a bit with Goodell. He knows what the good, the bad, and the ugly are in the NFL, and he knows who is responsible for it. Every team owner has a vested interest in the league doing well, and at this point, it has become clear that Goodell isn't what's good for the league. The national anthem protest that led to the largest nationwide NFL boycott in history has hit the league's bottom line hard, and the trickle-down effect to the teams has been incredibly detrimental. That means that the commissioner, who is supposed to be looking out for the good of the league, isn't doing his job, and Jones intends to do something about it. Daily Mail reports that Jones, who has been threatening to sue the NFL, has now decided the best course of action will be to block Commissioner Goodell's contract from being extended. It's safe to say that Goodell isn't thrilled with the proposition. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is reportedly threatening to sue the NFL and several owners over contract negotiations, with embattled Commissioner Roger Goodell going so far as to hire high-profile lawyer David Boyes, who defended scandalized Hollywood executive Harvey Weinstein against accusations of sexual harassment. Goodell's contract is set to expire in 2018, and although Jones is not on the committee responsible for negotiating a new deal, the Cowboys owner is threatening to serve legal papers if the committee extends the NFL commissioner, according to the New York Times. Jones declined to comment through a team spokesman. A spokesman for Boys also declined to comment. The NFL protest wasn't the first issue that Jones had with the commissioner. Undoubtedly, the commissioner has to make some tough choices, even ones that might infuriate the teams or the owners, and up to now, everyone has accepted that. However, the differences between now and then is that when it comes to tough decisions that were detrimental to an individual time, like benching a player, Goodell has no problem with it, but when a whole slew of owners asked him to make a decision that would be good for the league but would tick off the social justice warriors, the man seems to have his hands inexplicably tied behind his back. Jones' issue with Goodell uh, uh, ostensibly began when the commissioner suspended Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott for six games back in August after the former Ohio State star was accused of domestic violence by his former girlfriend, Tiffany Thompson. Elliott, however, has remained on the field thanks to a series of rulings in court appeals. Last week, the second year running back was granted an emergency injunction that lifted the suspension again and allowed him to play in Sunday's 28-17 win over the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. According to the report, Jones told the owners of the Chiefs, Atlanta Falcons, New York Giants, New England Patriots, Pittsburgh Steelers, and Houston Texans that legal papers had been drawn up and would be served in the negotiating committee decided to extend Goodell's deal. Jones was a non-voting member of the owners committee that is negotiating Goodell's extension, but the six aforementioned owners recently revoked that status after he told them of his plans to sue, according to the report. Goodell's salary is no longer di disclosed publicly since the NFL changed its 
tax status in 2015, but he did earn $34.1 million in 2014 and was paid a whopping $174.1 million over the first seven years of his tenure as commissioner. Jones has referred to Elliott's suspension as an overcorrection for Goodell, who admittedly mishandled the suspension of former Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice back in 2014. Goodell first suspended Rice only two games after a video emerged of the former Rutgers star dragging his unconscious, unconscious fiancé out of an elevator at an Atlantic City casino. However, that suspension was extended indefinitely after another video was released depicting Rice striking his fiancé in the elevator. Rice has been out of the NFL ever since, good riddance, I should say. Jones has questioned the suspension of Elliott, who was main, has maintained his innocence. In fact, how can you maintain your innocence if there's a video of you? In fact, Ohio prosecutors decided against pursuing a case against Elliott last year. ZK is a victim of an overcorrection. Jones said in an October radio interview, perhaps Jones is right and Goodell could have fallen back on his desire to only do what was best for the league and that Elliott was in the wrong place at the wrong time to get the kind of reputation that the league wanted no part of. He still could have probably gotten away with that reasoning had it not been for the this confounded protest. This commissioner sticking to these guns, to his guns or whatever, and letting the players do something that is ripping the league apart is proof, uh, proof positive that whatever is motivating Goodell isn't what's good for the league and Jones plans to do something about it. Well, they're only going to have bad news anyway. Nobody's going to the games Look at the empty seats behind there. You can notice the empty seats. They're done. They're done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.